the senior advocate of Nigeria, Robert Clark, has again slammed those claiming that a presidential candidate must score a minimum of 25% votes in the FCT to be eligible for the declared to be eligible to be declared duly elected president of Nigeria. While speaking in an interview with Channel TV, he noted that the Supreme Court had made it clear in some cases that it would not impose any privileges on Abuja. Speaking further, Clark said that it doesn't make sense for anyone to say that a candidate who has 25% in the needed state but fails to score 25% in the FCT shouldn't be president. This is a contentious issue now. But when you look at the law and cases that I'm aware of, the Supreme Court said that Abuja is not a state under the constitution, but they will accord it the status of a state. But in according Abuja, but well, in according to Abuja status of state, the Supreme Court said that it will not impose any privileges on it. The Supreme Court said that Abuja is Abuja and we won't give it any privileges because it is not a state, but we regard it as a state. <laughs> it is not a state, but we regard it as a state. If a man has 25% in 36 states, but does not have it in Abuja, would you say that the that he shouldn't be president? It doesn't make sense. And uh, Many people will laugh at you. We have to be careful on this issue because by dragging Abuja into 36 states, we now have 37. And can we ever have to third of 37? I think this man is contradicting himself. Okay. See, um, it's not a state, but can be treated as a state. So why is it that they don't have governor there? Why is it that it's a seat of power? Why is it that uh, anybody that is declared president will not just say, uh, Quick, uh, any state of his choice to say, Oh, I want to be here. Oh, I want to decide. I want to have my office here. No, it does not happen that way. And a lot of people have come out to argue that when the issue of that 25% is not met, there no, should be a rerun. Everybody is just taking it out of context. But what we know is that, uh, you know, if that is what that there's no president that has emerged with that 25% in Abuja since 1999. So why is it that a, it's not a different thing now? And the question is that why is it that the court, the day they were supposed to meet and give a verdict on that particular judgment, they just, they ran away and they, they couldn't even attend. And that was why they just let them sway them. They know exactly what they are doing. Well, they know exactly what they are doing. This clerk must be a deceiver. How can an old man and also a son does not know what and is? What are the younger generation learning from these old folks? Take and read the section of the constitution. In the past case, has been ruled in line with the same constitution. Why now? And Papa Clark, you know the role more we do, more than we do. You don't even place such view. In public domain with due respect exactly he knew just he knew just playing games their original plans didn't work for them old men who are we uh old men who are very close to their grave see adding problem to the already troubled nigeria is a pity it is a pity are you putting the constitution aside making your interpretation you are part of our problems. Tinubu failed to score 25% in Abuja because he could not use his tigers to rig election. Their international observers only supervised Abuja, could not even go around for the fear of being kidnapped. Bola Tinubu leave Abuja. It is important to go with the content of the constitution that makes it mandatory for the candidate to score 25% votes cast in FCT, among others, to be declared president. The goal post cannot be changed now, Mr. Clark. The clarity of this constitution should be carefully handled by the judges who have to deliver judgments in the tribunal. The Supreme Court have cleared the issue. Thank you for the updates. God bless Nigeria and our people. <laughs> because you don't even know 
how to read and write. That is why someone can teach you at this your level how to write your own. Sure, name is white paper. You have to write your name on white paper. Why not follow what the constitution said unless you are rooting for amendments of that session, which is fundamental before asking for that which you preach. Uh, that is why some people don't regard most uh, so uh, called politician. Abuja is not a state legally. The president did not need 25%. percent <laughs> just, just, just don't need. Uh, yes, and is the seat of power. Does not need. Yes, the cause is setting a confession on this. There shouldn't be any privileges on Abuja. Having judged differently that a candidate must have a 25 percent in Abuja. What if a candidate score even zero? Let's this matter be transparent and Nigerians will get it better. So guys, uh, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.